Hello, hello, beautiful Wealth Warriors community. My name is Saber. For those of you who don't know me yet, I'm from the beautiful California, and I'm tuning in with a beautiful soul sister who's actually very new to our community. I'm so excited for you guys to hear from her because this woman actually knew about this movement, knew about this community, knew about this online business for for actually a whole year before she finally stepped in and she found a way out of no way. And I feel like, you know, a lot of times when they see people, when people see people like us in the online space talking about monetizing our social media, high ticket automation, getting paid to be you, there's a couple things that go inside people's heads, right? There's one that's like, it's too good to be true. And I don't know if I can do that, right? Mm -hmm. Because the ironic truth of it is, <sighs> We're looking for solutions to making money online it's probably because we're not making the money that we desire in our lives right so we kind of are in this conundrum of like okay well if nothing changes nothing changes right mm -hmm. at the end of the day in order to play this beautiful game of money we have to have this beautiful dance of money right and in this space there's uncapped income potential this is the only industry this is an industry that has created more female millionaires than any other industry in the world you can actually look that up 90% of wealthy females have come from the direct sales industry. And it's the only industry that I can ever even think of where you can make uncapped passive income. So for us to actually claim that and go into that, it's like we need to be making some different decisions with what we do with our time, with our energy, and with our money. And when people come in and they make that decision, there's so much opening and so much expansion that happens for them. And they realize it wasn't actually too good to be true. true. That was just their own limitations. And each time we think, oh, we don't have time to do that. Oh, I don't know if I can, can do that. All of this stuff, it's all limitations. So I'm so, so excited for you guys to hear this beautiful sister's story today to just really share some perspective. I feel like it's really powerful, especially to hear from someone who is brand spanking new. I would love for her to share a little bit throughout our conversation, even just her process of of learning about the community and experiencing that and really what that did for her opening up right because that's that's the true transformation here the money always gets to be the byproduct of the transformation that really comes about as we learn how to be our authentic selves online i say learn because some of us have been so conditioned to not really step in and be our true shining selves so when we give ourselves permission to be in a business model like this like it's not just fluffy rainbows, you know, where we just, okay, we just get paid to be ourselves and money falls in the sky. It's like there's some real deep un unlearning, some deep conditioning layers and fears and limitations and all these things we get to shed, right? So I'm excited for you guys to hear from her transformation from someone who's very, very fresh in this space, giving a fresh perspective and really just sharing her story. So thank you, Lana, for being here today. I would love for you to just introduce oh. yourself a little bit about you know, where it was that you were, kind of how you found this community and just your journey of you actually saying yes to yourself. Uh, thank you, Saber, for that warm welcome and for a chance to chat with you because you are a badass and I'm super inspired by your journey, by the way that you created an income online in only a short two years, you know, and so like, I definitely look up to you. There's a lot that I'm learning from you. So I'm really grateful to do this with you. Um, I am Lana, for those who don't know me. Uh, I live in central Mexico, San Miguel de Allende. I moved here about a year ago, and um, that's when my journey really started. I was like, okay, how do I make money online? You know, because I see people doing it, and I'm really interested, I'm intrigued. I went down lots of little rabbit holes on this affiliate offer, on this affiliate offer, and a lot of them were just not offering what I felt like I would be willing to promote, you know, a lot of them were just affiliate services, like for a program to teach you how to build an online business, but they didn't really have a product that I felt like I could go behind and, and, and promote truthfully and genuinely. It just didn't feel right with me. And so then I somehow stumbled across a profile on Facebook and I was like, this is interesting. What is this? And so I contacted this girl and she told me a little bit about the freedom era. And this platform I understood wasn't just a platform that teaches you how to build an online business, but it was a platform that paired up with the, the most incredible offer. And it's the, the Congan water machine. And to me that was like, 
wow, this is something, this is actually a product and a service together combined that I can get behind. But then I learned about how much the initial uh, investment would be. And I was like, oh shit, <laughs> I got that money. But I started with affirmations. I started with money affirmations to reprogram my subconscious mind because I knew that there was something that was, it was an energetic block. I knew that all I needed to do was change my perspective on the way that I view business, the way that my relationship with money is. And so it was difficult work. It wasn't just like, oh, overnight kind of thing. Like I just shifted my perspective. It was like years of false beliefs and years of programming that I understood needed to be uh, reprogrammed. And so I diligently went into this self-development work and I did my water affirmations. I did my water affirmations tied in with my money affirmations. And how I did this was I'd pour water into a recycled glass jar and I would put that glass jar into a metal singing bowl. And while I was infusing the water with the with the with the sound of the of the singing bowl, I would speak my affirmations, my money affirmations, which were um, I love money and money loves me. I am a money magnet. <laughs> money is always available to me. And there was like this whole list of uh, money affirmations that that I learned from the freedom era because the freedom era comes with so much potent information on how to reprogram our subconscious mind. And so I utilized every bit of information that I could from that platform. And, um, I did the work, you know, I really truly did the work. And so every day it was a consistent practice. In fact, it was more than just every day. Oftentimes it was like, if I finished my water and I had more time in my day, I'd refill the water and I would do it again because I knew that there was no such thing as too much. I couldn't do too much of this. You know, it was like every minute counts, every word counts. And so that really helped me to build a relationship with money. That was more like I'm friends with money, that money is not a bad thing. Money is just oh, an energetic, you know, energetic, um, not even exchange in this case. I knew it was an energetic exchange before this, but I understood now that it was just energy that was mine to play with. And that I needed to learn how to play with this energy and not be afraid of it. Instead, to honor it, to respect it, because this is the energy of this matrix. This matrix is ruled by, by the energy of money because everything is tied with this energetic exchange. Even our families, like if you think about it, money is in um in all of our like lives right it's even in between partnerships but it's also you gotta make money in order to buy your food in order to buy shelter in order to survive so after all of that um i ended up manifesting a way in that allowed me to see a perspective and there was a great amount like a great community of people that surrounded me with it and i started to see my potential on how i can get this uh get my foot into the door and i did um actually someone ended up buying the machine but they didn't want to be an affiliate so they bought it under my name and um i know so i ended up doing it like that but now i'm already looking at buying my own machine under my name under my affiliate code and so so that i can get into the 2a and um it just all kind of started from that you know it, it's all about understanding what money is and not being afraid of it because i think that when we are young and we are conditioned to believe that especially if we grew up in a household where money wasn't um, as a common thing, you know, it's like, oh, we can't afford this. We can't afford that. And it's all this can't, we can't. And, you know, it's like, we need to save and we, we, we can't do this. And it's like, um, going on another vacation is just too selfish. And it's not, you know, when we, we start thinking about money as in a different perspective, as when we start doing the self-development work on us and start tapping in into the self-care and the self-love that, that we need for us, because nobody else is going to do that for us. Um, we start to understand that money isn't the bad thing. Money is just a thing. You know, if there's a million dollars laying on the counter and no one is to claim that money, is it bad? It's just laying there. It's just paper. That's all it is. You know, it's our intention. When it, that money becomes mine, what is my intention with this money? What do I do with this money? And once I reprogrammed my false beliefs of the money system, I understood that 
me having a lot of money is not a bad thing. My intentions for wanting to have a lot of money are to live free, is to be free, is to, to do whatever I desire, to help whoever I desire without having to pitch in into my savings, you know, without having to say no to something that I actually need, right? Like benefiting my health or investing more into my health right with healing modal modalities like even a yoga class at one point was like i can't afford this <laughs> you know is that isn't that more wrong than being able like hey i can drop two thousand dollars on my own mental health a month you know here's two thousand dollars to this specific um, um, healing modality that's going to help me better myself that's eventually going to help better others those around me because the more I care for myself the more I care for others it's so simple the more I know how to love myself with all of my um, shameful guilt you know and all of those things that once tied me down to those to that life of fear and anxiety, now I can embrace all those things and understand that everything in my life happened for a reason. Every little thing, everything guided me to where I am today. And because I learned how to love all those ugly parts about myself and they're no longer ugly, now I can see them in other people and embrace them, be very compassionate and understanding, and most importantly, be loving. Now I know how to embody love, how to be loved when someone is treating me poorly, I know how to show them how I want to be treated by being love, you know? So, and that's all tied in together. It truly is. The freedom era has incredible tools that help us to tap in into that self-love, you know? That's what I've like, this was my journey and it took a fucking year, you know? Excuse me, like, it took a year, but I got here, you know? And to be here on this other side now is like, it's a whole nother level of like self-love and self-acceptance and just being so proud of myself because I didn't stop, because I didn't give up, because I kept going, you know, and I kept like pushing through. There, There's going to be a way. There's going to be a way. And it's like I knew it. And it happened all so easy, honestly. Like I didn't even have to go out of my way to ask anybody, honestly. Like it was offered to me. They were like, I will buy it. And sure, I'll buy it under your name. Like it was honestly so easy that it wasn't an uncomfortable, you know, awkward conversation that I had to have with somebody. It was just like, here you go. <laughs> I was like, That's are so you serious? Cool. I was like, bet. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. So, and now we're here. And now I'm getting a chance to talk to you. So I'm like super excited to be a part of this community, you know? Wow. Your life is going to change so, so much. I love how different you came into the business, you know? Like I... There's so many creative ways. Like we we just find a way out of no way, you know? And ultimately at the end of the day, when you really look at the potential of what you're able to actually make now, it's not even about what it costs you, right? It's actually what it's going to be making you. Yeah. And that perspective, it's like we start to see that this is a ridiculously low investment. It's like, yes, like, and you found it out. You found a way how to do it. So you know it's possible, right? So yeah. for everyone watching, it's like to actually know and understand i know one one thing i've seen with people is like oh like you know what i look for in in a business is like you know it's cheap to start or it's free to start but it's like yeah well what is the potential there though right you know like, right. what's the potential like i was watching people who are you know with makeup or something like that they're like only seven dollars to start today and i'm like yeah but how much are you actually making <laughs> You know, it's like seven dollar sale and then mm -hmm. that person makes a few dollars it's like holy moly how many sales are you gonna have to make yeah how many sales are you really going to have to make so it's like if you want to make big money it's like i would rather put in the time now the time energy the money now to actually make so much more later you know yeah. it's like when some people like for me, it was a no brainer because I was putting in thousands of dollars a month into my art business. Three years in, had never profited, you know, like was 
I had booth fees, I hired employees, I hired an assistant, I had people doing my Instagram, I was buying the inventory, I was making the things, I was selling the things, I was blah, 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 I was taking the photos. Oh my God, uh, it's like work. no wonder you were burning out. Yeah, so I was like, I had gone to 26 festivals in 2019, and when I found this, it was just a no-brainer. Yeah, I had to figure it out, I was like, oh, this is like, you know, it's a stretch for me. I had bought a bus at the time that was 15 grand. So that was like my, my conversion vehicle. That was like the biggest. Yeah. And I invested not even half of that when I came into this business. Yeah. So like, okay, I can make a one-time investment now and not even have to, I was like, I'll be saving money by month three. <laughs> like, if I just switch to this. So if you have, it's like, it's all a matter of perspective, you know? And for a lot of people who are like, and just getting by, we don't, we don't, it's like we have this employee mindset, you know, you talk about the conditioning and what we've been taught. We talk about this book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, a lot in the Wealth Warriors. We mention it in our webinars often because, you know, he really, he really allows you to see what we've really been taught and conditioned about money. And when you can actually see from a higher perspective, you can literally see that this business is just a no brainer. Because if you're able to make uncapped income you have systems that work and convert for you you don't have to hire anybody mm -hmm. you don't have to package anything you don't have to sell anything for god's sakes if you don't want to you know like you can have all of that done for you and you can make uncapped income where it's just yeah. comes the four figure commissions like that's huge that's freaking huge yeah. and sometimes often will pe when people will say to me like well how much time do i have to put in it and i'm like look <laughs> If you knew that every hour you put in today would pay you a thousand dollars plus an hour later, how much time would you put? Right. I don't know how much time would you put if you All didn't right. know if that was going to be next month or next week or tomorrow or next year. How much time would you put? It really depends on how big are your goals and your dreams. If right. your dreams are basically just to kind of get by and pay rent, then maybe yeah, it might be a little crazy to think beyond that right but this is why it's so important to really tap into what is it that you actually truly fucking desire right because when you really know what your dream life is you're like all right well i'm not going to be able to sell seven dollar things of makeup and earn three dollars per thing i'm gonna have to have multi-millions of followers for me to even make my dream lifestyle to make that enough sales so yeah, it's all a matter of perspective. So I love this conversation and how we've really just brought it into full circle with the the mindset piece. And so I do want to wrap it here up in just like a couple minutes, but in in a fairly brief summary, like how would you share your experience of the discovery process for you that really allowed you to really peel back those layers and see that you were actually playing a smaller game than what you were actually worthy of? Well, I mean, the discovery process for me kind of started even before any of this. The discovery process started for me about 2016 when, when I started to understand, you know, through self-help books, I was like, something's wrong with my programming. <laughs> you know, I need to reprogram this. And um, the discovery process really fit in so well with it because it gave me the, the actual tangible way to do that, to reprogram myself. And it was like, all I needed to do was do the work, you know? And it was like, here's everything that you can do. And I was like, okay, bet. Like, all I need to do is just do it. Okay. And like, the discovery process helped me to, it gave me that nudge into actually like, putting it into practice, you know, um, because you can read a self-help book, but then after the book is over, you know, and a week later you go back into your everyday life and like you're, you're doing your thing and you kind of forget that information until you see the cover of that book again on a shelf and you're like, oh, I remember there were some good tools in there, but you kind of, you know what I mean? So the self-discovery process was um, awesome because it just, it guided, it guided me so like, perfectly throughout the whole thing and it was that like it was like the, the teacher that was here that was constantly like do this you know do this and then like this is part of your progress like do this and it was very easy to integrate it into my life that's that's how I would say it <laughs> that's amazing yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming on and sharing your story today. And thank you everybody who has been watching for people who are actually wanting to learn about what this is. We do teach classes. It depends on where you're actually watching this. 
So if you're watching this on Lana's page or my page or whoever's page you're watching this on, just let them know that you want to learn about what it is that we do in the online world because we have free webinars. They might be, you might be in a Facebook group right now. You might be watching, a, listening to a podcast. You might be on YouTube. Just make sure you get connected with whoever's page you're watching this on and just say, I really would love to learn about what this is because if you do want something that is uncapped, that allows you to have that passive income, not like, it's not like you come in and you're making passive uncapped income, right? <laughs> This is a business. It's not a get rich quick thing. This is something that is so freaking worth for you to put the time and energy to actually build and lay the foundations to create true financial freedom. Because ultimately at the end of the day, making money just gets you out of the hustle. I was making money when I came into this business, but I was hustling. I knew I wanted financial freedom. I wanted something that was actually worth building. And this is what we have here where you can literally get paid to be you, tap into a done for you business model. You don't even have to be the water person, right? Like with people who follow me, I've never actually posted about the water entire ever on my page. I just haven't because my personal brand is just about women's empowerment and dancing and traveling and those beautiful, just all my different passions, right? So this is a way how you get to turn your passions into profit and leverage the highest converting offer that is in the direct sales industry because it's automated. So if you guys want to actually learn about the webinar, just reach out to the person whose page you're watching this on or whoever invited you to the group you're watching this on and we'll make sure you get connected. Have a beautiful day, everybody. Thank you so much, Lana, for being here and thank you thank again you. for sharing your story. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye, everybody.